In his own words, a climber describes his tumble several hundred feet down Mount Hood, how ridiculously close he came to dying. This is Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Anna Canzano. Josh Hawk had summited and was on his way down. He is sharing his story for the first time from his hospital room. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is here with this exclusive. Jennifer, he is so grateful to the people who rescued him. He is, and he's a pastor at a local church, and, well, he says he thought this might be it. He's made the climb before, but Friday, or Saturday, rather, conditions were icier than expected, and the mountain, well, it tried to take him down. So I remember spinning. I remember spinning out of control. Um, probably I was, probably, I reached speeds at probably highway speeds, um, and just flying down the mountain. Josh Hawk and a friend summited Mount Hood, snapping this quick pick before Josh strapped on skis to head down. It took about two turns and then lost my edge. And so things spiraled out of control very quickly. As he started tumbling, he thought about his wife and three daughters. My life totally flashed between my eyes. I'm like, I'm going to meet my maker. Then miraculously, he stopped. My skis are at the bottom of one of the crevasses up there. Um, they flipped off and... Um, and so had I gone further west, you know, I would have flown off a cliff. A climber who happened to be a resident in internal medicine saw him crash, coming to his aid. Others followed. Ten hours that this crew of people um, worked to keep him to keep him safe, you know. Um. Lauren thought she'd have to tell her three daughters their dad wasn't coming home. Instead, there would be a homecoming. I'll never be able to express my gratitude enough for their efforts and for not giving up uh, despite the the dangers that they were facing and the fatigue I'm sure and you know not knowing if they would be injured along the way. Rescue teams carried and lowered Josh down the mountain until they reached a snow cat that took him to Timberline. There a helicopter flew him from the parking lot to the hospital. Despite the the dangers that they were facing and the fatigue I'm sure and you know not knowing if they would be injured along the way. So, um, yeah, we're, we're incredibly grateful. we would never be able to express that enough. Both Josh and Lauren wanted to say thank you to all those who worked so hard to bring him home. I'm just really glad that he's okay. I'm glad that I'm not a widow today because I could have been. When I did first wake up, there was, I was filled with a big piece. Um, it was just overwhelmed with gratitude. I guess, I guess somebody's not done with me yet. And Josh tells me he has a few surgeries ahead. He does have a broken wrist, broken ribs, and some other fractures. But amazingly, no serious internal injuries, and he's expected oh. to pull through. Back to you, Anna. What a remarkable testimony they will have. Jennifer, thank you.